Sometimes a news story comes around that I'm not exactly sure what happened, such as a case with Sayyid al Shadar of the Muslim Brotherhood, and his dad is in prison. Okay, now here's how the story goes down. He's saying, you better release my dad or I'm going to release the information about Obama and how he could go to prison. We got evidence right now that send Obama to prison, he says. Okay, now let's consider the sources. It's a dubious source, guy in the Muslim Brotherhood. I don't know if we could trust him or not, but according to Walid Shabbat, a former terrorist, he's got some Arabic language transmittals that were uh, translated and he pretty much is convinced this is happening. Um, now let's look at some other facts. WND.com, written uh, in an article by Dr. Jerome Corsi, explains that Republicans, not, not liberal Democrats, but Republicans, John McCain and Lindsey Graham, travel over Cairo to try to release this guy, apparently. Release this person who needs to stay in prison. Release him from prison. For what? To keep Obama's secrets? To keep Obama in office? I thought we had a two-party system here. Don't we want some truth to come out some of the time? Oh, this is just getting weird. I mean, we know throughout history that Rome fell, other nations fell and stuff. We hear stories about how, oh, Nero, he's such a musician. He's such a liberal supporter of the arts. He fiddled while Rome burned. Okay, we can see the folly in that right now, and we can see the nobles and Wallace's day and selling out the people, but what about us? What are we doing about it? What is history going to be saying about us? Are we sitting and fiddling? What are we doing? Is anybody putting up a fight? Does anybody care? Or is our response just supposed to simply be, do whatever you want, but just send me my Obama phone? I think we deserve better than that.